Hi, my name is <laughs> my name is Sonny. Go to Burlington High School. I'm a senior. I'm Elsa. I'm a junior. I'm a senior. <laughs> I don't. My name is Medea. I'm a senior at BHS. Uh, I'm Abbott. I'm a senior at BHS. My name is Mele. I'm a senior at BHS. And we're a part of the BCL um, 11 uh, community, and we're just here to talk about public safety in Burlington, um, a topic that we've been sort of researching and um, asking questions about in our class. Um, so, Mele, I know you had a topic you wanted to yeah. mention. How like, it's not safe in Burlington for people to, to walk around town. Yeah. Do you have anything else to say about that? Like any personal experience or? I had many. Yeah. I was walking downtown one night and this guy was just on some drugs. He came up to me and so like being aggressive. I'm like, what are you being aggressive for? Then I punch him and ran. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, I'd like to build on that and talk about uh, the bike path and bike safety. Um, I feel like there are a lot of bike lanes in Burlington, but a lot of them aren't, you know, big enough to give bikers the space that they need. And especially with how uh, reckless some drivers can be, it just makes it a very unsafe environment. Hmm. Awesome. Elsa, I know you wanted to talk about sort of lake, healthy, lake health. I would love to talk about lake health. Um, I would like to discuss um, the health of our lake, kind of, and how it has been evolving um, over the past few decades um, <clears throat> and also how our um, wastewater treatment and water treatment plant um, helps keep the health of our lake safe and the health of our people safe who drink um, the water from our lake. And last but not least, Sunny talking a little bit about law enforcement in Burlington. So um, I think that we should uh, not defund the police <laughs> and that uh, we need more law enforcement. So uh, crimes and uh, violence can be uh, prevented. So I just think that we should fund um, the police better. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, is there any like specific examples you just think like generally there needs to be a more structured um, law enforcement? I just don't see enough police around, but I think there should just like be more police in different, like downtown especially, like sometimes I don't really see any cops there. I only see them like uh, Friday nights and Saturday yeah. nights because everybody's at the bars then, but I think that during the weekdays there should be more uh, police. Okay, thank you for listening to our little introduction oh, on yes. some public safety in Burlington. Hi, I'm Jillian Fairfax. I'm a senior at Burlington High School, and today we're going to talk about homelessness in Burlington. Quinn, do you want to start us off? Yeah, um, I've been seeing an increase of houselessness in Burlington. I think it's a big issue we need to, we need to talk about. So why do you think it's a big issue? Um, because I think that no one should have to, you know, camp out or not have a house and have to deal with that, especially in Vermont with these uh, harsh winters. Nate, any thoughts? Um, I think a big issue is kind of like what we were discussing before, public safety, um, especially with all of the drug use that's going on. Um, I know there's been a lot of discussion on whether we should make drug use safer because people are going to do it anyway, or if we should try and totally cut it off and stop it. Um, I think I don't know what the right answer is. I would tend to lean more towards trying to cut it off, but I'm not well educated in this area. Rowan, do you have any thoughts on that? Yeah, I'm of the opposite opinion. I think we should just make it safer because people are going to do it anyways. People have always, people will always do things that are supposedly illegal, so. How would you say we should make it safer? <laughs> have like a designated area to do them <laughs> if you are addicted to them. <laughs> I don't really know how else to say that. <laughs> yeah. Quinn, do you have any thoughts on drug use? <laughs> All right. Um, 
Nate, you're of the opposite opinion of Rowan. What do you think we should do? Uh, I don't know. I, I know the war on drugs did not go according to plan, but um, giving out like free needles and things of that nature, I agree having a designated spot um, would probably be beneficial. Um, I know I've heard from people um, walking around that they have stepped on needles or have seen needles lying around. Um, so I think that is a very big issue. I do agree that having a designated area would um, kind of concentrate that issue and make it a little more localized. Yeah, I mean, I can understand your your perspective as well. Like, it's like, it's like for, if, some, if you're not a person that is involved with all this, it just kind of seems like these people are just doing it because they're stupid or something. Not to say that they are, but it just kind of seems like they're being a risk to the rest of society, and I can understand the sentiment behind just, just make them illegal, or not illegal, but try to stop. <laughs> yeah, no, obviously the two issues, homelessness and drug use, are intertwined, so, yeah. Mm. Good They can both lead to each other. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, we're from the BCL Cycle 11 class. I'm Leland, I'm a senior at BHS. Uh, I'm Isaac, I'm a senior at Burlington High School. Um, I'm Rowan, I'm also a senior at Burlington High School. I'm Lulu, I'm also a senior. And today we're gonna be talking about um, what BCL is. Yeah. Uh, BCL is a class here at Burlington High School for juniors and seniors. Um, we do a lot of community learning, which Isaac is gonna talk about. Yeah, so at BCL, we get the chance to go out in the community and uh, learn from people who work in Burlington and uh, work on the issues that we're learning about. Um, and uh, it's a really cool opportunity to get to explore our city more and learn about things that we are personally interested in. Yeah, we're able to really get out into the city and use it as our classroom, which is really nice, learning from a bunch of different people in the city, which is which adds to the diversity, which I think we really pride ourselves on in BCL. Um, the Burlington City and Lake Semester, um, we have a bunch of values that we kind of, um, and goals that we follow, and we um, connect with community partners, and we um, go to community spaces, and yeah. Yeah, we do a lot of, you know, like learning outside of the classroom. It really teaches you a lot of good life goals and how to communicate and problem solve in real life scenarios. Mm -hmm. um, there's also the opportunity to do um, honors, an honors version of this class, which I think Isaac will tell us a little bit more about. Yeah, as part of the uh, honors version of the class, we get to connect with uh, students from Denmark and learn more about their community and we get to talk about problems in each of our uh, homes and that's a really cool experience to get to connect with people in different communities and learn about their experiences so that has been a really enlightening experience for me. Yep, that's BCL and if you're a junior or senior you should very much consider joining. It's a very fun time and you learn a lot. It's really close. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are BCL 11. Um, we're gonna introduce ourselves one by one. I'll go first. My name is Mahalan Megan. I'm a junior at BHS. I'm Sabrina Sulerlai. I'm a senior at BHS. I'm Lillian Connolly. I'm also a senior at BHS. I'm Avi Yagoda. I'm also a senior at BHS. All right, so today we're going to be talking about uh, local sports um, at our school. We'll start off with uh, Avi. Um, so we had the cross-country state meet this past Saturday at Thetford, which is close to like Lebanon, New Hampshire. Um, we had our boys team placed seventh, which was stronger than last year by a lot, um, with a couple people qualifying for New England's in two weeks, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, um, in girls soccer, we just won our quarterfinal game. We beat Burn Burton two nothing, and with those two goals, Brooks Deshaw officially got the um, school record for most goals scored, which is really exciting. 
Um, our next game is going to be against Essex. It's a home game. Um, it's at 4 p.m. tomorrow. And it should be a tough one because they just knocked off CVU, but we have a shot because last time we played them, we won 3 nothing. On boys soccer, they won one nothing in overtime against Burr and Burden. And if my sources are correct, the next game are it's on Wednesday at South Burdenton. Okay, um, going back to soccer, not soccer, right? Girl soccer. Girl soccer. Do you guys think you guys can take it home all the way this season? Um, that's the hope. I mean, you can never be too sure, but. Um, we're just going to take it one game at a time and see what happens. Uh, we did win last time we played Essex, but it's going to be a tough competition because they are the only team that's beat both CVU and Colchester this year. So, And their goalie is incredible. So it'll be t a tough one, but I think we definitely have a shot if we give it our best. We also have boys volleyball heading to semifinals, I believe, upcoming this week. Yeah. Um, do we feel like boys soccer can um, beat their next game coming up? Yes. What's our opinion on that? Our, la our last game against uh, SB was very close. It was 3-2. It was a great game to watch. Um, I think we can take it home, make it to the Chizzy. OK, so in conclusion, um, as far as sports goes at Burlington, I think we're pretty good. Uh, especially this fall season, and I really do hope that we can take it home in boys soccer and, and in girls. Yeah, make sure you come out to support all your teams and super fans help a lot. So, yeah, just be there and cheering. Hello, I'm Bella. I'm a senior at Burlington High School downtown. Hi, I'm Adriel. I'm also a senior at BHS. And I'm Naveen. I'm also a senior. My name's Yusuf. I'm a junior at BHS. All right, so today we're going to be dis discussing what it's like to be a student at Burlington High School. Would anyone like to start us off? We no. go to school in a building without windows, which is a little bit frustrating, but we make the best of it. And yeah, those are my thoughts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, windows is definitely a big, big issue in our community. What do you think, Naveen? Yeah, I mean, for me, the biggest thing was the location change because I live in the North End and uh, commuting definitely takes uh, on bike uh, like an extra like 15, 10 to 15 minutes, which is a lot of time over the course of my four years there. But I think also being closer to downtown is really nice because we have all this access to great food downtown and stuff like that. I don't know. Yeah. Did you say that there's a lot? Oh, my bad. Are you good? Um... I actually live pretty close to the school, so that's actually a plus for me. And overall, I think it's a pretty good school. It's cool. It's nice. Would you guys say that there's a lot of transportation options for getting to school, like you live pretty far away? Yeah, I think, um, well, personally for me, I think uh, public transit is kind of an issue because it doesn't really reach all ends of the city. For me, I like if I want to get to the bus stop, it takes around 30 minutes by foot. So I think... Um, one thing we talked about in BCL was kind of differences in public transit options in different countries. And Lillian did a presentation, another BCL student, about how um, she talked to a friend about the Finnish transportation. And the trains make less stops, but they go to more diverse areas of the city. So maybe working to do that, that could like help kids get to school easier. Bella, you live in the middle of nowhere. How is your experience getting to school? Um, I'd say getting into downtown is a bit of an issue because you use the many intricate roads that take longer to get into downtown area, like right off the highway. So I'd say that location isn't great, but I'd say otherwise it's not too difficult yeah. to get to school. Very insightful. If you had to sum up your time at BHS in one word, how would you describe it? I think for me, I'd say, um, I could say overwhelming at first. I mean, Just not one word. Overwhelming. but. That's mostly the first couple of years because there were a lot of uh, location changes going from online to admins to BHS. Um, chaotic, but good. I'd say it's a community. I'd say pretty silly. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for your time. I think we're wrapping it up here. It's what it's like to be a BHS student.